guys uh, it's Nico and welcome back to another video today we're gonna explore on how to create uh, parallax effects using locomotive scroll yeah one of our most beloved um, package on this channel and we will add a small custom cursor also later maybe in part two uh, we'll see We'll create this beautiful animation, loader animation. Let's wait for this to finish. Yeah. With the help of uh, one of the newly added uh, JavaScript animation library called Motion One. Uh, Motion One is built by the guys from Framer. So if we go on Twitter, it's Matt Perry uh, who made Framer Motion and is now is making Motion One. A great little uh, library to animate. Uh, it has a quite simple API for us, and we will mostly use, I believe, timelines. Yeah, so we have sequences some kind of animation and then we'll take multiples of them and we get a nice effect so yeah that's how we're gonna go uh, with today's video we're gonna first build the uh, parallax effect using locomotive scroll and then we'll uh, slowly go to um, this preload uh, effect using motion one exciting uh, video i'm happy to share it with you and let's do it the code the full code will be available on my github page in the youtube tutorials repo under 13 uh, number so this one you'll have everything here what i did before we get into the project is to we will have the hero container with the image with the title and then the paragraph and we will add here the locomotive scroll and then we will add the loader container also here in this component uh, you can take out this load container outside in another component but uh, for the purpose of this video we'll leave it here um, next what we have is uh, a hook um, if you are following all of my videos you will know that this hook was already made in some other videos um, I'll link that video in a card or maybe in, in the description but all of this does is creating a new instances of uh, locomotive scroll we pass a reference to the dome and maybe we can pass another props and it does everything for us as well as with the custom cursor um, i'll have again a link uh, in the description box uh, we'll only um, what we're gonna add is uh, we'll style it yeah we'll make this um, a dot a small dot green dot to go with our theme um yeah and for our style i'm gonna have it everything here in our home component um and yeah let's let's go and add the locomotive scroll um code so in our um, main container go back our home let's close the tab um, what we are gonna say is that this will be a data scroll container or our locomotive scroll, scroll container as well is that we will need a reference to this um, element so scroll, scroll ref and let's create a um, scroll ref here so const and 
uh, the co-pilot is automatically completing our um, code but we here will say that it might be a null as well so as i said we have the um, use locomotive hook so use locomotive scroll and we will pass the reference a scroll ref and few um, properties move and smooth mobile as well too and let's first uh, get the locomotive reference here and if we save we let's go and check if this works save um, let's inspect the refresh and not here let's go back to our local host inspect and yeah we we can see that uh, the locomotive scroll package has added uh, its um, its um, classes to the dome element if we go to the container we see that this is a data scroll container which is great let's go back to our vs code um next what we're gonna do is we will um animate uh, data hero hero image and the hero title as well as the intro container so how locomotive work is really simple is to add a data attribute of data scroll to each um, element we want to be a part of locomotive scroll so let's go and just add data scroll to the image so do the image to the title and to the paragraph here data scroll and let's refresh let's inspect and we see the data scroll is added to the elements and if if uh, we want to build the uh, parallax we can use the data scroll speed zoom a little bit let's search what does yeah so data scroll speed it takes a number and the element it's uh, the element par x speed and if it's a negative it will go to uh, opposite direction so if we give a positive number to the data scroll speed on scroll it will go faster in the opposite direction of the scroll and if we give a negative number it will go um, vice versa so coming back to our code we can give um, to the hero a data scroll speed of about minus 8 save and let's open Chrome let's refresh yeah if you already see that the uh, image kind of doesn't go with the flow uh, with all of the other elements and this uh, provokes like a parallax effect um, to see even further we can go and add to the title here um, actually we need to add this to the is the data scroll speed equal to minus 5 and for the uh, paragraph data scroll speed equals zero. go back fresh yep and we already having same effect on the deployed app on netlify we have this nice um, parallax effect Great, so that's basically how you create a very simple parallax effect with um, locomotive scroll. You can play around with it. I think I'll end this part here and I hope you 
some kind of learn something today and i'll see you to the part two of this video where we will add um let me show you go here and we will add um, this loader with motion dev javascript animation library 